So what was that cause you put around it? Uh... This is a product, I think this is actually Coban. It's a, just a, a self-adhesive wrap so that it'll keep the feet from causing any harm to us or the bird. When they kick up with those talons, they could easily snag us or themselves. And so Mick wraps them as they're going in the bag so that they don't grab themselves as they're coming down um, in the bag. Alright, got that, got that. First thing we're going to do is take this wing from him. You'll put your hand right there on the there. shoulder. Very good. Alright. Alright. He's going to try to wiggle. Yeah, so he's got this. Once they get the wing behind them, they can turn. Okay. So if you can hold that. Perfect. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we got somebody else who wants to hold feet. Okay. Super. Just, just put a hand right like that. You don't even have to control the feet, just so that the feet won't kick up. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Hey, baby. Yeah, it's comforting to us, but I'm not sure they know what we're saying. We're trying to say. So the, the blood sample is a um, chain through their food supply to environmental contaminants and heavy metals, pesticides, things like that. So even though um, DDT and, and PCBs um, uh, are, have been illegal for many years, they're still actually found in the ecosystem especially in the aquatic ecosystems where eagles uh, tend to hunt most of the time. So it's a good um, way of monitoring uh, those contaminants in our environment. So that blood is going to get shipped off to the lab then? Well, um, there's a, we actually have um, quite an archived uh, collection of, of eagle blood. Um, it, it is expensive to have a lot of these tests done, so um, we're, you know, we, we hold on to some of it. Um, we have some um, cooperating researchers who are doing some of the, some testing for free, including now uh, some DNA testing. Um, which is uh, an interesting research project to um, look at the, you know, genetic heritage of eagles across the country. So we're participating in that as well. Um, but um, as eagles expand through the state, um, we have them in more and more waterways. So uh, eagles can be a really good environmental indicator um, across the state now, whereas they used to be limited to South Jersey uh, and Delaware Bay, now um, we're able to actually compare eagles from North Jersey to South Jersey. So uh, um, it's, it's, a, it's a, a great resource to have. Um, as I said, we're looking at eagles that are successful because they have chicks. And then uh, the other measure we can look at is, is as they become available, uh, unhatched eggs. Um, because sometimes it is the contaminant issue that causes an egg to uh, not hatch. So that's another way of, of monitoring contaminants. What are you measuring now? This is the, um, it's one of the primaries. It's, it's numbered the eighth primary because it's the, there are ten of them. And this is the third one and this is the eighth primary. And that's 171 millimeters. And that gives us an indicator of each. 
Kathy, is this one of the larger tricks or there's the small one? Uh, small one. You know, just from watching the webcam, I'm not quite sure. I don't think it's the third one. Um, you know, they're all going to look pretty similar. Let me take a. So what are you measuring right now? All right, so we t we'll take um, two measurements of the leg. This is the tarsus uh, leg. Uh, measurement and um, I need someone to Somebody. record. Yeah. So there's um, there's two spaces for the tarsus yeah. and the first first measure is 13.3 and Right. 17.1, and the what were the, some of these measurements that uh, when you put put them all together, they'll give us um, a good indicator of the sex and the age of the chick. The females are larger, and females are larger even at this age of six weeks. The hallux claw is 35.2. Yeah, and we didn't do the bill, but no. So this. Third is going to be D over 98. That's, that's already written there, and it'll be on the left leg. Just indicate that it's on the bird's left leg. So this is um, obviously a big green color band. Um, this uh, this is a, not a standard band, but um, the color bands are used for being able to identify the bird from a distance. Um, New Jersey is the only state in the east that's authorized to use green, so even if you don't see, uh, aren't able to read the code itself, um, if you see a green banded eagle, you know it was banded in a New Jersey nest. Kathy, this is one of the last D bands, so that we are coming to the end of the D series, which means we've gone through 400, wait, ABCD, 400 yeah. uh, eagle bands, which is really cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the other band that Erica's putting on is a standard um, federal bird band, has an individual number, uh, silver band, and uh, as you can see, that is not something you're going to read from a distance. That's only readable when you have the bird in the hand. So these are permanent. They have to be riveted on because eagles would would quickly remove anything else that that we put on. So it's riveted so that it's permanent marker. Do you have a number for that one? D ninety on the left side. Are they on the other one on the first Yeah. No. Yeah. We'll wrap those feet up again so that they're not going to hurt anybody. The bird won't hurt himself. I'm going to take a couple more measurements here. They don't like the sound of that. No. That wrap. So, hold on now, pal. Hold on. Okay. So this is the, the Coleman measurement. Coleman is 46.4. And then we'll do a bill depth, which is a good indicator of sex, the gender. But they do have to close their mouth for it. Am I good there? Okay. 31.4 on bill depth. So do you know now what the sex is? Well, I should. Um, <laughs> the, the 31 is a dividing line, um, and but then also looking at the... Uh, tarsus measurements. Um, it's borderline. Pro it's borderline. Sometimes you just go, oh, that's a female, or oh, that's a male. 
these measurements are a little bit on the border. Do you have to turn to the left and cross? <laughs> it's amazing how well developed they are in six weeks. Is saying he may not be able to get the third. Oh, bird. is it moved okay. back out of reach? It's moved back out of reach, and he's going to try and hurt it back over, but okay. he doesn't want to freak it out too much. So, so that's probably the biggest one. So we'll give you a bath and empty bag. Well, little so hey, yellow eye ring. So, hey, yeah. so nice bird. So, okay. lost yeah. most of it's down now. Still, there's a lot of down yeah. under there. The We're just getting covert feathers yeah. over it, but this yeah. is still very thick down the underneath. And there's a little bit of breakfast there, so I don't know if that's the eel or what they got, but there's <laughs> breakfast. You can okay. it's right there. So in the top. <laughs> Step back and reach. Yeah. I want to picture you without. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 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 Do you want anybody else to? Yes. Yeah.